We're gonna have a treat to start our decorating. And we've just nabbed some really, really cool flights at an amazing price. I did a little bit of Christmas shopping. Oh, this feels really nice. <laughs> it feels more cozy, doesn't it? It's so Mount Everest tuna bake. It's so yummy. Yeah. Good morning. Morning. Welcome to Vlogmas, 2020 Vlogmas. Yes. We weren't going to do it. Um, and we've just decided I'm going to do a very toned down. I usually do a toned down vlogmas anyway. Yeah, as and when anyway. Isn't yeah, it? I don't so do it it's... every day, just a little mm. bit here and there. So we're going to do a little bit here and there again this year. I've just done a little bit of shopping. Oh, I've just seen there's an owl over that one. Uh, yeah, it's an owl. Oh, there's other animals over there. We've just parked up in a country park. We haven't been here before. It's opposite our normal Starbucks. Um, so yeah, welcome to Vlogmas. It's really foggy, isn't it? It's is very foggy. Um, Christmas plans. Let's talk Christmas. Yeah, well. We need to get a tree still. Yeah. Yep. That's on the agenda, I think, this weekend. Not maybe the weekend. When do you want to get one? One of the days of the week. Is he open then? Well, he's open through, so probably. We buy our tree from an independent seller, but we're trying to support as many independents as possible this year, and I've done loads of shopping from independents, which I'm really pleased about, just trying to support as many people as or possible. Or even from this country as well. Yeah, definitely. Really nice with hat and scarf on, now I'm too warm in the car. Uh -oh. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy our videos anyway. Yeah, we need to enjoy our coffee. Let us know what you're up to, what are your Christmas plans. I'm starting this new weekly vlog at the end of the day. It's like tea time on a Monday and I've been working all day and we're about to start decorating the bedroom. Something we've been meaning to do for about eight years. So that's where we're spending the evening. We're gonna have a treat to start our decorating. So we're gonna paint, where did that mark? Oh, that was from underneath the mirror. There's labels, there's a fragile mark. It's going to be white, clean and white. Right, so last night we painted our room. It looks so clean and so bright, which is exactly what we wanted. It's white and I love it. I love it so much. So that's done and the carpet is coming tomorrow. I cannot wait. I haven't had my room done. I think since, properly done since I lived in Germany when I left when I was nearly 18. That was the last time I had a nice bedroom. So I'm really, really excited. <laughs> um, the other excitement, we've been on the phone all morning. I've been on hold to Virgin. They have an amazing sale on right now and it's later in the year. So hopefully all going well, we'll be able to go. And we've just nabbed some really, really cool flights at an amazing price and in upper class. I can't believe it. We've never flown in upper class before and they used our free upgrades as well and they've always said before that they couldn't you can't use free upgrades to upper class so i think i'm still in shock i just hope we can go so that is amazing and then i've had some lovely posts arrive today and i've had a delivery of my happy scatter goodies and i am so excited about these i've got the samples through for january which i love and I've also got like the die cuts for the December kit, um, which look like that, which doesn't really help you. Um, I'll grab the little packet actually and show you. It's such a fun kit. I've gone with all the colors, um, but you've got things like make a wish, tiny little mini journal cards. And we've got cute little rainbows. And there's lovely stars. There's so much. I just love all the bits and pieces. Bits and pieces really make me happy. We've got a yay clip. That's actually a little paper clip. There's just loads and loads of bits and pieces in here. So I'm really excited about that. And I've got something new that I need to add to the website. I have asked Jennifer to make us some monthly tab tops. I'm going to open these so that we can have a look. And these will be mine. They are um, January 
through to December and they're all in different colours so you've got all your rainbow colours but you've got the months on there so you can fold so you can fold them over and use them either on your projects on your planners anything like that so you've got one for each month so I'm excited about having those in the shop um, I think that's something we need to keep in the shop we're also going to have tab tops in the um, January kit would you like a sneak of the January kit it's very very cute so this isn't December this is a super early sneak. These are some stickers to go in the kits. I'm not sure about that one. I think we need to change that one. These are just my samples at the moment. Yeah, I think I think we need a heart on that one. We'll change that one to a heart. Do you agree? What do you think? These are your stickers at the end of the day. These are going to be in your kits. I love the bird. So we're going to have birdies and happy mail and flowers and yeah let me know should we change that one to a heart can you guess what this kit for january the first kit of 2021 is going to be called if you can guess what the kit is called i'll send you some happy mail how about that leave a comment below so it's looking very cute and this is my planner set um yeah i'm really excited actually really really happy and let me show you what happy mail came through today I did a little bit of Christmas shopping with Magical Day Apparel. I love the t-shirts. I won't show you one because it's a Christmas gift, just in case that person is watching, but their t-shirt is lovely. And I ordered myself a That's Not My Dino t-shirt. This is so perfect that it's arrived today with this booking. I haven't felt excited about Disney trips for next year, I must say. I just In my head, I'm just thinking they're not gonna happen. We've got our family trip planned in April and I'm still thinking that's not gonna happen. But I don't know. Who knows with everything that keeps changing. But that, Aid's got one of these. That's not my dino. It's one of our favourite, favourite Disney rides. And I've now got a t-shirt to match Aid. Isn't that sad? And then there's a t-shirt in there. And then I had something else come today. It needs a good wash and an iron. But I grabbed myself on eBay a second-hand Kath Kitson skirt with all the Mickey Mouses. There we go. And it's got pockets and it was 10 pounds. It needs a good wash and iron, like I said. What I like is it's so, so light. That would be so nice for a Disney Parks. And I've actually gone up a size to my normal size. I can't even wear any of my skirts at the moment from my normal trip that I wear. And I didn't wear any of them over the summer because even the one size ones that are elasticated, they all just felt so tight. So I've gone a size up, it's elasticated. So at least it gives me a little bit of flexibility if I don't lose any extra weight next year. Oh, it's got, I just realised as well, there's Donald Duck and it's got Minnie Mouse. But for a tenner, Kath Kitson, I thought that was a steal. So that is all my Happy Meal today and I'm very, very happy about it. Lots of exciting things and some exciting news. Tell me something that you are looking forward to at the moment. Good morning! It's eight o'clock. The carpet fitters are here. I still can't believe after all these years of me wanting carpet. Can you hear the banging? We're actually having it done. We're the first job of the day and I'm still surprised that during lockdown we're actually having this done. I really thought it would be cancelled. I'm so excited being up there. We've cleaned everything so it's all nice for them. But basically I moved into my house 1998 it was a flip project i was 23 and i was married previously we were very young we bought this four bedroom house four bed three bath house and it was absolutely run down really really bad we lived upstairs for the first year it was that bad but i fell pregnant three months after moving in and the jobs just never got done and then I couldn't afford to do the jobs because I had two small kids then. And then fast forward and we're still doing jobs to the house. So I've never had carpet in our room. We pulled it up years ago because it was so awful. And we've just been living with floorboards since. But they weren't nice floorboards. Not the sort that you could... Some of them were like hardboard. Um, some were floorboards that we've had to put in to replace the old ones. It was messy. So that's how we've been living in all, with all this time. So we're really, really excited to have a new bedroom today. Right, I'm going to whip up some cookies, um, I'm going to make them vegan style and this is my little recipe card that I made that I hang in my kitchen. 
We always underbake ours. They've just gone in for, these are quite large actually. They've gone in for like eight to 10 minutes. They're done. We're gonna go and check it out. Oh, this feels really nice. <laughs> it feels more cozy, doesn't it? What do you think? Yeah. We're going for little bubbles. It feels comfy, doesn't it? It does feel really, really nice. Yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Right, been messing around upstairs hoovering and stuff. Before I continue with work, I am going to try and sort these boxes out of excess stock as they're getting on my nerves. And every time Wade walks through, he either falls over one or knocks one over. these oh boxes well and truly to go up there and all the baskets have been cleared i also had a load of baskets here i need to go through these papers but this was all filled with excess stock as well really chuffed with myself i am going to be doing a makeover in this whole section here i've got new baskets i've got paint and i'm going to make it look really pretty because it looks really really messy right now I'm also gearing up to a big Black Friday sale, which as I'm filming this goes live tomorrow. Um, I'll leave it up for a while though, just to try and clear some excess stock. So I will leave the link down below for you. As for the kids, uh, it's really, really, really well, that certainly wasn't planned today. All cleaned up, drawers fixed, and nice and tidy. I fancied watching a Christmas movie. I've just put Christmas movies into the search bar in YouTube and I found Christmas movies. I never even knew you could watch movies on YouTube. So it's a Hallmark Christmas movie. So much for that movie earlier on. I got five minutes and 17 seconds in. It is now quarter past four. I've done no videos, no filming at all. Um, it's just been a, no it's been a week, not just a day, a week. It's Wednesday. And I just haven't got hardly anything ticked off my list. I have been sidetracked a lot. Um, it's just been one thing after another. Holly's popped in today on the way back from work. Um, I gave her her cookies and she picked up some Christmas decorations. And now she's gone back to her little house. Um, and now we're going to go to Dunelms. We really cannot miss this today i've done the post drop today as well i've just scheduled a newsletter i've been getting ready i'm doing a black friday sale tomorrow there's just been so much going on i always think i've got more hours than i actually have i think we've got a mark on the new carpet as well i've contacted carpet right it's a big black mark um which i'm really gutted about um i don't want to try cleaning it in case it makes it worse when you touch it it actually leaves black on your finger it's not from the carpet fitters, it's actually something that's within the carpet itself. I don't know what it is, but it's odd. Um, but I'm really hot flushed actually, we've got the radiators on to try and dry the washing. I'm really warm. Um, but yeah, we're going to nip over to Dunelms. I've ordered new bedding, I've ordered new pillows, under storage um, drawers as well. So we just want to get completely organised. So I might share that in a video actually, that might be cool. I don't know, it might also be boring. I'm just putting the bed back together now. Home from Dunelms, we've got pillows, a new bed linen. I've just stripped it all out. I've put the washing machine on. I've just found a pillowcase on the floor. Never mind. I bought extras so we can actually put them over under the pillowcases as well. So that's not the end of the world. But we've just got all white bed linen. That's all we have anyway. And then we're going to put our Christmas duvet on as well. That's all washed and ready. Aid's putting the bed back together. We've got all new pillows as well. Um, Dun Elms are doing like a click and collect. It was, she was so lovely. There's nobody around. Just walked up to the door. She was there with her table and just scanned it and went and bought our order. So that was nice and easy. Um, and now we're really hungry. We've just had a discussion whilst Aid's making the bed. 
I'm going to make a tuna pasta bake. We haven't had a, he left his bloody jumper there at the bottom of the stairs. I hate it when he does that. Um, we haven't had a tuna pasta bake for years. And we both just said we fancy one. So I'm gonna quickly make one of those. We, by the way, really like the bed linen from Dunelms. It's by Fogarty and it's called Soft Touch. It's not very expensive. The fitted sheet was 15 pounds. I think the pillowcases were two for a fiver. Um, it's so soft, we really, really like it. This is what we had last time as well. And I also collected a load of under bed storage boxes as well. And they come with lids. Had a Morrison's delivery today. Santa got packed with the potatoes in the tins. He didn't fare so well. And Poppy's taken to recently taking my kitchen rug, screwing it up and sleeping on it. That's her new game. I don't have many cookies left. These were so good. I got asked recently about my vegan recipes and do I purposely make like proper, use proper vegan recipes. I don't all the time, this is just adapted. I use vegan spread instead of like butter or margarine and dark chocolate buttons. Um, chips um there's no egg or anything in there it did feel a little bit dry so all i did was add a really good dollop of um vegan alpro or dairy free alpro it's um a vanilla like yogurt and i just added that instead of uh, you normally i would have added milk but i just added that and they've turned out really really good it's a recipe we use all the time um i'll leave it below for you it's a really really good cookie recipe and depending on how big they are just leave them in the oven for about eight to ten minutes just so they're starting to color on top they are so good and they actually taste a bit like cookie dough in the center they're really really lovely i've got my pasta in i'm using penne pasta and i'm going to melt down a little bit of margarine to make the cheese sauce i'll be adding some flour and some milk and some cheese and then I've got some broccoli that needs using up, some mushrooms that need using up, and I'm going to add some red pepper for colour, and of course a tin of tuna. This is an amazing cheese sauce. It's got tuna, peppers, broccoli and mushrooms in. I've seasoned it well. What I do with the sauce, I never measure anything out. If it's too thick, I add more milk. And if it's too thin, I add a bit more flour and I just keep going until I've got enough sauce. My pasta is cooked and drained and I'm gonna add some to the sauce. And then make sure it's all nicely covered. You could eat it like this, but I want to make it even more yummy. And then I've coated the top with more cheese. Put that in the oven on 200 and I'm just gonna leave it until it goes really kind of like, you know, goldeny brown and bubbly on top. It's gonna to be really nice. If you want to make it super luxurious, you can make breadcrumbs, add loads of grated cheese and pop that on top. So that would be really nice and crunchy and really cheesy and yummy. It looks like a man's here, does it? It looks so, Mount Everest tuna bake. It's so yummy. Just makes me wanna pick crispy bits out. It looks so good. I love it when it's all bubbly. This is going to be so delicious. Why haven't I made one of these for so long? Let me know if you love a cheesy tuna bake. Good morning. I have a new bedroom. I'm so excited. Um, so excited that I've actually dressed up today for the first time in a very, very long time. We've still got some bits to do. I've got some curtains to hang. But it, everything looks so much nicer. I'm really, really pleased. I can't believe I actually have a new room. I am so happy. Like I said, there's still a few bits to do. We haven't got any artwork up or anything like that. So, um, but it just feels so nice and it was so lovely to wake up this morning. I'm so happy, but yeah, I thought I'd dress up a little bit and make a bit of an effort today because I've woken up in such a good mood. I just wanted to show you this company here, the Creative Toucan. I bought some artwork a while ago and I still haven't printed it and I completely meant to. I love the colors. These are so me. We bought the Atlanta one. I love that. And they just go so well with our house and I still haven't bought 
frames for them and I can't remember what size they were I need to get some frames but I want to get a couple more for our new bedroom as well so we've got Atlanta we're huge Walking Dead fans and we had an amazing trip through Atlanta I like artwork that means something oh I tell you what Washington DC would be nice for our bedroom I have the happiest memories of that road trip um, my normal bedding um, I've got Christmas bed. I was saying that my Christmas bedding has teal in it as well, but my normal bedding is very teal with mustard. So these colours go really well with some sort of like pops of pinky reds. Um, I really fancied the LA one for our bedroom because we had the most amazing trip to LA on our own, Ada and I, um, in 2013. So oh, there's the LA, and that would add some nice colour to the bedroom as well. I'm in the middle of working on, this is going to be the postcard for the December kit, ready for January. I've worked on papers today, I've done some really cute stuff actually, oh I tell you what I haven't shown you. I have finally worked on my December journal, look how cute that is, I am so happy. And the video is just uploading now, ready for tonight and I want to be on the second one. I'm just getting my Black Friday stuff up together I've just been working on the website and getting the category done and doing all the sale I just want to get rid of loads and loads of stock um, I've got some that's just sitting around and I'd like to make way for new stuff for next year I'm so limited on space it really helps me out and then what I plan to do is do a bargain box sale in January I think um, I think that's the plan but I am just working on the sale right now and I've just had a email from Virgin and our tickets have come through. The Black Friday sale is going very very well, much better than I expected actually. Um, for some reason I didn't think it would go that well. Um, it's really good, orders are coming in really nicely. I've given up trying to pack as they come in, as they're coming in faster than I can pack and Aid's made dinner. It is now nearly 8 o'clock this evening, I'm really hungry and he's made bratwurst with fries and I can't wait I'm gonna go make some curry ketchup and I'm gonna lock the door and call it a night in here and continue here tomorrow it's December the 1st and in true vlogging style I'm editing this video and realized that I've completely forgotten to finish the video I also realized that I haven't given you a proper show around the bedroom so I'm going to do that first before finishing the video so here it is the finished bedroom really really pleased with it it's so much lighter we've got light in here we haven't had a working light for years apart from the light behind me in the wardrobe area um, near the ensuite but, um, I love this mirror I picked this up in a charity shop for 25 pounds years ago I really love that little mirror we've got our Christmas bedding on I love this throw this is from George Asda that I bought a few years ago 100% made from plastic bottles it's got really cute pom-poms. We've got Christmas bedding, which was, I think, from Debenhams years ago. Cute pillows. You may have remembered that one there from Home Sense a few, or TK Maxx, I think it was a few years ago. And I've put a little tree up. You can't really see it in the light there. And it's got little Mickey lights, a little fake tree. Um, I added some curtains. Um, they're coming up in the next vlog, and you'll see those. And I need to put Christmas lights behind as well and then that's a little artwork display I made that ages ago but that is what we've been doing oh the mark on the carpet so here it is and I don't know what it is but I didn't really notice it so much because you don't notice it so much like that what you do it's right in front of the wardrobe so you can't hide it and um, it's not very nice really on a brand new carpet so what do you think it looks so much better I am so pleased it was so awful before um, and we've never apart from painting it white we did move the wall back because we have a really large ensuite bathroom and we've moved the wall as far back as we can to put in like the wardrobe and we've got like a larger area then there um, but the wall won't go back anymore because of electrics and because of the loft hatch so we have a very large ensuite bathroom um, so we've tried to make the most out of the bedroom but it looks so much better now we're so happy so much lighter and it just feels really warm and cozy so we're really really happy let me know what you think but I hope you're having a good start to December and 
I look forward to sharing a few Vlogmas videos with you. They're not going to be every day, so make sure you've hit that little bell notification and I'm just going to upload as and when I can. But thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Lots of love. Bye. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories.